Hey everyone, Jay Wong here. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, I wanted to share this special episode for each and every single one of you. I know as everyone is thinking of their significant others or maybe being in relationships or maybe you're just resenting the fact that maybe you want to be in a relationship and you're not. And I know this is not necessarily the normal quote unquote topic that we cover on this podcast and and on this YouTube channel, but this was something that I was recorded uh, a couple weeks ago with my girlfriend, Francesca. And for those of you that don't know, she has an amazing community, an amazing channel that talks all about makeup, beauty, lifestyle, and it is all in Italian. So if you're listening to this or you're watching this, you want to improve your Italian or you're just interested to see what a beauty YouTuber in that space creates, feel free to go and subscribe and check out some of her videos uh, and we'll be sure to link to it all below. But before you dive into the episode, I wanted to give some context to this because we talked a lot about different aspects of our relationship. We talked about communications, we talked about high performance, we talked about jealousy, and we talked about you know how we met and, and how we really run our relationship. And maybe you could take some of these aspects and incorporate it into your life because by no way are we experts and you know we don't ever consider ourselves relationship experts and really we're just sharing from what works from our perspective. And so I'd uh, love for you to dive into this. I'd love to hear your feedback and your thoughts. Um, and of course, you guys could, you know, let us know in the comment section below. Um, and if this is something that you're interested in, if this is something you want to see more of, um, please let us know. And uh, we will certainly take that into consideration in terms of our creation uh, paths and, and what we can create down the line for you guys. So without any more delays, here is the interview with Francesca, my girlfriend, and I talking about relationships and high-performance couples. Ciao ragazze e ragazzi, nuovo video, come vedete un ospite speciale, ovvero Jay con me, ovvero il mio fidanzato e l'ho convinto oggi a fare il boyfriend tag e venire sul canale. Uh, alla fine, uh, all'inizio l'ho convinta di fare il boyfriend tag stile vecchio YouTube, ma poi ho chiesto di uh, farvi alcune domande su Instagram e uh, le vostre domande sono fantastiche, quindi mi sa che si trasformerà da un boyfriend tag a più rispondiamo alle vostre domande. Ovviamente io ora switcherò e inizierò a parlare in inglese perché Jay parla pochissimo italiano, ne parla un pochino, pochino. però però ovviamente non, è, non può fare un video tutto in italiano quindi ora noi parleremo inglese ma io metterò i sottotitoli così in caso voi non capiate l'inglese eccetera eccetera non vi preoccupate, una soluzione per voi quindi senza perderci troppo in chiacchiere we should start sì for starting, let's start with like like the most like common question or like question has been asked a lot and I think it would be a great start. Yeah. And the first question is where do we meet and when? Oh, I know this one. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> we met Shanghai, China, February 8th, fourth floor uh, building to the back of uh, <laughs> East China University. In which year? Uh, 2014. Yes. The answer. I just wanted to say this because I feel like maybe a lot of people don't know us or like they That's true. They don't know everything. Some what? some people, people that don't know us. I know. What? Incredible. But I I kind of like wanted to start with this one which is a really general question, but now we're going to go into more the juicy question. So let's get started. You guys have asked a lot of questions. Should I should I, should I read one for you? Yeah. No, no, no. It's like I'm gonna oh, okay. read it and then we're gonna so answer really to both of them. Okay. No, we're, okay. Yeah, we're right. both. Ladies first. Giuliano Medda. <laughs> okay, I think her name is Giulia. Oh, anyway, non ti pesa non poter parlare l'uno con l'altra la propria lingua originale? Why, why don't we do this? For context of this question. Yes. Sub before we even answer the question. Yeah. How many languages do you speak? Well, I speak Chinese, English, Spanish. And Italian. And Italian. Four. Okay. Ask, now ask me. How many languages do you speak? <laughs> Three. Okay. So English, Cantonese, yes. and Mandarin. Yes. So out of those languages, the reason I think it's good to start there, yes. we have two languages in common. Yes. Right? English okay. and, and Mandarin. Yes. Right? So 
I think to answer the question, yeah, I, I, what, it, it, it depends on the context mm -hmm. of the situation, right? Yeah. Meaning, do you remember we had a summer vacation with my parents yes. and your parents? Yes. Right? Oh and, my god, that was And that was, uh, hard. That was an adventure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, because, you know, your parents, they, they don't speak English or Chinese, yes. for example, right? They speak Italian. Yes. And my parents, barely speak English, right? Like they try yeah. and they, they speak predominantly Cantonese and Mandarin. Mm -hmm. And so guess what? We were in the middle trying to translate, trying to translate yes. this joke from over here to over there. <laughs> so I think given the context, I mean, maybe that could be frustrating, you know, at, at times, yes. right? Where you're able, you want to be able to share a joke or something, a sarcastic type mm -hmm. of statement, and you can't do it given the, the, the amount fact of that, like, the language that you yes, lack, yes. right? But I think between me and you... It's more than fine. It's more than fine. And Sometimes we do have some maybe like argument, if we can say, mm. because like, of course, English is not my first language, and we speak like predominantly English together. Right. But sometimes maybe like, the way I speak or like the way I say in Italian, they mean a totally different thing or maybe like right. the tonality in Italian, it means a totally different thing and in English it means something else. So like yeah. maybe like there is a little bit of argument on that, but other than that, we, it doesn't really bother us. Like mm. the fact that like we both speak like English and I yeah. mean, Jay first language is English. So yeah. I'm the one speaking, not my original language between right. the two, right? Right, right, right. We, one thing that we work on a lot is yeah. over communication. Yes. It's over important. communication. Yeah, it's really Because important. whatever we, but I think just in general, whatever people believe is good communication mm -hmm. is typically lower than yes. what you need. So we just, let's just go overboard. Yes. Let's just over communicate. A lot of things and that helps i think in, in the grand scheme yeah it's gonna come yeah. up because some people ask a really good question about that okay. too that was good juicy please <laughs> underscore please yes eh, e la domanda è ti prende mai in giro nel senso buono quando stai girando un video no oh, actually i think this is such a brilliant question because i think as a partner yeah. you need to have an absurd level of support for the other counterpart you know, and so, you know, I always say crazies attract other crazies, <laughs> right? And, you know, I, I, I jokingly say that because I, I think uh, we create content in different ways, yeah. right? And we create content for different audiences. But if anything, I'm trying to cheer her on. I'm trying to be the best cheerleader I can, yeah, that's true. you know, when you're creating content. And, you know, the, the, the whole idea of even making fun of someone or even criticizing them for having a creative outlet let's just be real, you're never gonna get criticized by other creators or other people that are in the game. Yeah, you're only gonna get criticized by people that are not creating in this context. Yes, it's right? true. Yeah, Jay, so. Jay's been always, always super supportive and never Team down Frenchy. me. Team Frenchy. <laughs> down me even when I had like a hundred people watching me. Underscore me Mary underscore. Man, okay. you, you guys like the underscores, huh? I know. Well, but Instagram, there's a lot of like people, right? Unless you put your surname. Oh my God, I lost it. Oh no. Oh my God, okay. I lost it. There's a lot of questions. Are you going to show them a screenshot or something? Okay, cosa ti ha colpito da subito di Francesca? First. Whatever, well, I guess whatever came to mind, but I guess personality too, if you want to. The, the red dress. The red dress? Yeah, the red dress. I was not wearing a red dress the first time we met. No, 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 that's correct. You were not wearing the right dress, but I was happy. was with I was, her. I was inviting everybody over to my, my place and, and you had a, the, the red dress. Baby, I this, do the, not this... have a red dress. I have a picture of the first night. No, no, no. There was a red dress. I have the picture in my mind. That, that... Do you want to change okay, it one, one of the first times we hung out, the okay. top two. All right, cool. There was a red dress. I'm Are convinced. You... I have a photo. We were in the club with a red dress. There was a red dress. Okay, but that's what first oh, came to mind. Okay, 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 okay. That's what first I know, came to mind. I, okay, I know what he mean. He meant that the first time we went clubbing together, and I think it was like second, third time that our group of friends went out. The first time we went clubbing together in China, in Shanghai, I was wearing this like red dress. It was not dress, it was like a top type of thing. That and right, I had right, like right. a lipstick too. Right. And 
then I have a picture and I'm gonna insert it here and we're young and probably we were drunk, so. Yeah. Okay, so that, that was the first thing I noticed, but then the first thing, like, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. But the first thing I probably noticed was that Francesca talks a lot. <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah. You talk a lot. Well, that's good. Like, this is what I mean by crazies attract other crazies, right? Oh it might God, not be someone's so cup of tea, but I just remember thinking, oh, you know, she's got some social skills, you know? Like, I mean in good communicate. I don't mean like overly talk. You know how some people are just like, you meet them at an event, and they're just like, oh, let me tell you about this. Oh, let me tell you about yeah. this. Not like that. Not, not like that, but like smart social networking. Mm. I respect that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so... What about, what because, about me? Oh, what I thought about you. Yeah. So... <laughs> so the first thing I thought about Jay, when I first met him, I thought he had like great personality. Like, I don't know because like it's something that like you just feel because I didn't know him. But the way we interact the first time, I was with my roommate and we met in the laundry room. And it was kind of like weird. I felt like a lot of energy, which now that like we date for so long or stay together since so long, I can tell that I was right, but that's what I felt. The first thing I was like, wow, mm -hmm. this guy has a lot of energy and he does. Like still to the day. But a funny question is because, okay, this is like a question that is related to what we're talking now. Okay. And it's actually so funny that you brought it up. Okay. Okay. This question is from Sami Mondini. Okay, so the question is: Vorrei sapere la sua versione dell'invito anticipato che ti fece in camera sua in Cina. Tattica. Here I need to give you a backstory. Oh. In my first QA that I've done, if you guys haven't watched that, I'll put it there. But I kind of like told the story how we met, kind of mm. like, oh, we met in China and blah right. blah blah, right? And then I said that the first night that we went together, you were like, come to my room at 7.30. Mm. And I came and I was so in time. Mm -hmm. Very right? timely. But then like everyone came in late, like an hour and a half later. Right. I invited everybody over to my place yes. for like a house war well, like a, a room warming. A room warming <laughs> slash let's gather in yeah, one place. Yeah, let's gather and together then, and, and then, then we'll we go move. together. Yeah. But I came so on time because you said that time and I'm yes. a person that if you tell come for seven, I'm like there at 7.01. But then everyone show up late. Right. But then people are like, it, it was this your tactic or it was people a really, being like. Really, a very strategic tactic deployed from Francesca. <laughs> <Joking. Hey, laughs> no, 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 no. You were, okay, I remember. You were very timely. Oh, it's really timely. And I remember at that time in China, uh, I was trying to figure out what good wines were and what mm -hmm. bad wines were. Yeah. And what I didn't know was that it didn't really matter what I picked. They were all bad wines. Yeah, in China no, it's really no offense, bad. No, no offense. Yeah. So you, gotta, you gotta really like go deep to find it. I, I was not, it was like one week in. I was like 20, 48 hours in. Yeah. So whatever I picked was really bad, right? So we're sitting there drinking really bad wine, Yeah. Uh, listening uh, on my 2009 Toshiba laptop, giant. <laughs> Listening to my iTunes. Computer's so heavy. So heavy. And uh yeah. But it was not a tactic. It was our group of friends was so in late in general. Mm. And after that we learn it. But it was not a tactic. Even though it could have like been a really smart tactic. I didn't I never thought it was a tactic. I know, but like that's what people are saying. Like people when I told the story, people yeah. are like, I think he planned ahead because he thought that you were already maybe beautiful or cute. I don't know. Simone underscore De Vito double zero. Okay, quindi Simone ci chiede chi è più geloso tra i due? Okay, ah. I'm not, well, it's not like I am jealous or anything, like we're not jealous, like it's right. not like, oh, like if someone look at you or like you can look someone, like if I, if I see a hot guy, why mm. I'm not allowed to look at him, right? Like, like, like Adam Levine. Yeah, kind of like Adam Levine. Put a picture here. <laughs> Insert. I, I should, I should have filmed you. Oh. Yelling at the TV. Yeah. <laughs> it was so hot. But no, there is no, but there is no reason why to be jealous. And I Fair. think like, okay, maybe when I was younger, when I was like a teenager, mm. I think I was jealous. Mm. But I feel like it's kind of like a young type of person, kind of right. like approach. Because like when you're getting older, you kind of like, you mature, right? Mm -hmm. And so like, there is no point, like, what we are choosing every day to stay 
together mm. so what is the point oh, of me yeah. being jealous right okay, the the earlier point of over communication yeah so if you over communicate you kind of know where you stand with the other person at all times mm -hmm. right and so jealousy the, there's no real point yeah. of it existing or for you to give energy to it because yeah. it's really inefficient mm. okay. oh, sorry. oh yeah sada yeah. underscore zucker is there, I can't, I'm gonna celebrate whoever doesn't do an underscore, mm -hmm. we're gonna celebrate the person. Okay, okay. Sara chiede, chi è che fa le pulizie? Clean the place. Okay, you can answer that. Um, we, both we, do we, we both are really bad yeah. at the, in this yeah. department. Yes, um, so then we hire someone. So yeah, okay, so for context, um, I think we have a belief yes. that- Time. Time is the biggest asset of our lives, yes. right? And we really appreciate the fact that, that you guys are watching some time and you're with spending us some time with us. For and like we get knowing to spend, each other and yeah. we're spending time because yeah. we will be in the comment section answering and... And so that's that's how relationships are built, right? Yeah. That's how anything is built, right? You wanna build a business, you wanna build a whatever, like time, right? Yes. Time investment. And I think you get to a point where you have to choose what it is that you wanna invest your time on, yeah. right? People that you wanna you know, invest in uh, books that you want to invest in, courses that you want, what, like, what do you want Whatever. to choose? So yeah. when it comes to cleaning, to be honest, it's, it's not on the priority list of things that we must do. So therefore, if you can't allocate time, most of the, the other alternative to this yes. is you allocate money, yes. right? And so we are lucky and grateful to be that in a position- That we can afford to yeah. pay someone and- Every, like, Every two weeks, a person come to our place and just like clean it up and like does the deep cleaning. Of course, like we clean, like let's say like we vacuum or like we like make the bed and clean the dishes. I cook and Jay clean the dishes. That's kind of like yeah. our our decision. So like the first time that we start, like the first time that we live together, we kind of like sit down and we're like, again, communication is so important because if you don't talk from the beginning, then you will be upset in the years to come. Mm. So then like we talk and I was like, Preach. I'm okay to cook because I like the way I cook and I want to cook Italian meals. Mm. So you're okay because you eat everything, but it's not fair that I cook and I clean because it's not like, oh, because I'm a woman. Right. I'm busy too with my business and like with my work in general, right? So. Yeah. So we were like, I cook and I clean the dishes. And so we decided that and from three years it's like... Uh, it's it's working. It's working. Yeah. It is working, but yes, we don't, we just do the basic, but then we're lucky enough that we can actually hire someone that comes to my place, yeah. to our place and clean. And we think that's a, ba a better way for us to spend time because that time while she clean we can do some errands or like we can just mm. spend time together me and him outside or like you know there is a lot of things that you can do when like someone is coming clean your place instead yeah. of you cleaning the place being tired of course there is nothing wrong if you clean the place yeah. if you clean your own place it's just like our decision of time management and what we allocate our money into it it's underscore again these underscores, <laughs> man. You see, you, you wouldn't have known this, right? Yeah. Unless we, we were reading we're names. Noticed. So, underscore Renee mm -hmm. S. Me. Okay, la domanda è importante rimanere indipendenti in una relazione. Ladies first, I'm curious. Actually. Okay, so I do think, like, whatever relationship you're going into it, like, be an independent person with independent, like, hobby and like passion and just everything like independency is so important it's not because i'm staying with him yeah. that like oh now we're like together i'm 100 and he's 100 and together we make a thousand it's not like i'm 50 and 50 and together we do a hundred like there's no this thing about like completing each other i do, I, I do think that like Disney made this thing wrong or like, oh, you're like the other half of me or like mm -hmm. everything, right? Like I'm independent human with my thoughts and everything and all the beliefs that I have and all my passion, hobby and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And you are your own person. Together mm -hmm. we make a great team because like we're too strong independent person. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I, I think it's really good. And I think this question, honestly, we can make 
a, a, a two a hour video yeah like a two it. hour class about beliefs and like what's right and what's yes. wrong and but i think like if and i maybe can... like if you guys like this q a or if you guys like more going deep through like kind of like a relationship type of like mm, topic mm. We're not an expert, we're just like sharing our yeah. opinion and like, of course, like anything. But mm -hmm. if you guys like it, maybe we can make this a series on the channel. Maybe once a month we come here and we hang out and you guys can give us some more questions and like some more like topic that you guys would like to talk. But honestly, already from this question, we probably can make like 10 videos about yeah. every topic because they're so broad, they're so wide and here we're just like, you know, trying to like be concisive and... I think that'd be good. Right? I think that'd be good. So I think if we, that question, it's a really powerful question. Yeah. And it could be like to summarize it without going hyper deep, right? Are you, before you enter into a relationship, you're actually in a relationship with yourself. Yes. Right? And so you're actually always in a relationship with yourself. And so the question is what not whether two people should be independent or what are your thoughts around it is that are you showing love to who you are first? and foremost, yes. right? And only then can you be in a position to yeah. show and give love and to be overflowing to the other person as well. Yeah. Because let me tell you, there when 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 arguments and friction, when all these things like when they come into play, it's because a lot of times you didn't take care of yourself. Maybe you didn't get good enough sleep. Maybe you've had a really bad day, yeah. right? Maybe you're really emotional, yeah. right? Maybe something bad happened to you, right? And then you're coming home and, and you're bringing that type of energy in. You, you understand what I'm saying? So what I'm really trying to say is that, are you having that relationship with yourself? And I think we both have that belief of like, hey, we're in a relationship with ourselves first, first okay? And then, and then we, are, we could show up in the relationship the way that we want to show up. Yes. We could show up, she could show up on this YouTube channel the way she wants to show up to you, yeah. right? But it's because she's in a relationship with her first, yeah. right? And that's without getting into like, you know, what, you know, like being independent and skills that come with that. In the life, kind of like just actual life. like skill and being independent as a normal human. Yeah. This like, is like a, yeah, that's another different topic that right. we're not gonna touch, but as, it, as this, uh, and as you were talking, I was talking about the book, Don Miguel, um, Don Miguel Ruiz. Ruiz. Yeah. <laughs> the, with, the Master of Love. Oh. And uh, the, fridge, uh, the, the fridge, the fridge, the fridge, the fridge analogy. Comment down below if you know they the know, fridge. They know, they know because I talk about, I good. talk about this metaphor, yeah, yeah, yeah. like this, uh, this book, and I know you guys have like bought it because I feel it helped a lot in the relationship in general, but just as a human in general. Marie Lena Mazzone, no underscore. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so la domanda è: andate sempre d'accordo su tutto? This is so easy. No. No, we do I, we do argue and we do things see differently so, because it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, like so you're two individual people, right? And now you take into account you're you grew up in two different countries with two different sets of beliefs, beliefs. and contexts. Culture. Culture. The way Italy is is way different. It's not good or bad, it's just different than yes. how Canada is, right? And Canada is not good or bad. It's different than how you would culturally yeah. grow up mm -hmm. in Italy. Right? School system that we went through, a little bit different. Oh, yeah. A little bit different, right? Um, values in terms of North American culture and Canadian culture versus yeah, what, what it is we, maybe in Europe, yes. right? What we and, value the most is different. And what from you guys like, value, yeah, right? Totally maybe from different. a religious context as well. So, like, of course, I think we, have, we share similar values. It's important with your partner to share the core value. Mm. So, like, Let's say like if you like to travel, this is really basic. I'm not saying that these are like core value because again, that's another topic. Mm. But like, if you like to travel and your partner is scared of going on a plane, mm. maybe right, maybe it should not be the partner for you, right? Mm. Because like you guys need to have something that like is the base of the relationship. Like, what do I believe and I stand for? And then you talk with your partner and he told you what he believes in. Yeah. And those beliefs have to be like quite similar because like there is no way that you're building anything if the fundamental of 
the thing it's not solid and like the core value are the fundamentals kind of like a building if you think that having a relationship is always say i love you everything is perfect or everything is fine we never argue blah 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 and all those things that like unfortunately social media like picture mm. where you just see a profile of like a couple on instagram and they look just the happiest people on planet her i'm telling you that's not real that's fake and you should you should not aspire to that because that thing does not exist argument exists but the difference between a couple working out things and mm -hmm. a couple don't working out thing and then decide to separate is the couple that decide to work out problem is communicating mm -hmm. and is committed to that person yeah. and is committed to the fact that we are gonna solve the problem together because let me tell you there's gonna be a day that you fucking hate the person that you're staying with that like, you're just so upset Mm. But then you need to be like, I decide to be with that person and to make it work. I think it's a lot of times like building a business, you know, it's sexy. So many people probably watching this or so many people yeah. internally, they go, one day I would love to have the freedom to run my own business. Okay. One day I would love to be a millionaire, yeah. maybe even a billionaire right and people are like yes I love it and then you go on Instagram or you see on you know the top magazines people with private jets and Ferrari. you know Ferraris yeah. and this watch that costs you know a so quarter million money. dollars yeah. and but you have to understand that to get there to even achieve any of those things you're gonna have to go through a lot of days and let me tell you weeks months years maybe even decades most of the time decades a lifetime mm -hmm. of hard work mm -hmm. of consistency of commitment of growing into, like there's so many little things yeah. you're not going to be happy no. most of those days and in fact those are going to be more bad days than good, good days day. that's right? that's not what we're, they were saying like being in a relationship right. you will have bad days but you you will have bad days you will not only have bad day you will have great day you will have yeah. great adventure with your partner you will have great time but there's gonna be bad day too and in those bad day you need to be strong and you need to be committed to the person that you guys are kind of like made for each other and be like yeah. I choose this person to be my partner for life and that's it even in a bad day when I don't want to talk with him because trust me there are those days it's normal like we're not living in perfection here right no. but you need to be committed and like just be um, okay and we're gonna go through this uh, Piera89. No underscore! Yeah! Okay, quale usanza italiana trovi più assurda o strana? I cannot find the person. I will find it, I will put the screenshot here. But I remember that I read it and the question was like, what it was one thing that when you guys got together you found that was so weird because it was a kind of like a thing, like a tradition of Francesca Bra from like Italian culture. Okay. I know the answer, but I want to see if it's the same because Okay, so this was a little hard because a bunch of things like came to my mind okay. in terms of like Italian culture and like what's different. But I think the biggest one has to do with time with family, has to do with people coming together and yeah. eating. And this is oh, just yeah. from my personal side of things mm -hmm. and growing up in an Asian culture. I'm not saying all Asians and I'm not saying all Asian culture is like this, but the way that I grew up, the way that we were spending time with our, our family, yeah. um, we valued it. You know, it was amazing to be able to do that, but we didn't have necessarily that must, that need to, let's say, for example, every Sunday, right? And I don't know if this is like like a general Italian generalization thing? of Maybe an it's Italian. Like my family, yeah, where I, like that, we that, hang that could, out a lot. Right, but I, I'm just saying, I think uh, Italian families just they care more about the family aspect of things of your grandma your grandpa of your uncles your aunts yeah and i just didn't have that growing up i know other families that are non-chinese and non-italian they, they, they have, have they have very yeah, close yeah, relationships yeah. with with their parents but me personally speaking i didn't right and it doesn't mean that i didn't love them any, any more or any oh, less no. but it just like that it wasn't was weird but it was different right it was noticeably different because if you know that every Sunday, for example, let me give you like if you know every Sunday that you need to be somewhere, it doesn't matter, church, eating a meal with X amount of people, right? That changes how you operate on that day. It doesn't need to be a Sunday. It just changes mm -hmm. the way that you think about your own time, mm -hmm. right? And so I think I think for me that that 
probably the the thing yeah. that came to mind. Yeah, that's for sure. I think so. What were, what were you gonna say? My thing is kind of related, but I remember when we first moved in together, yeah. I was like, Jay, if we are, let's say, in the same house together that day, and I'm cooking, mm. we are stopping whatever we're doing, and uh, we are eating together. That's a good Because one my family built the relationship that we have through our meal. So it's mm. like, everyone is busy, but at 8 p.m., all the family is there, right. me and my brothers, of course, just like close family. So it's like your parents or like your mm. brother and sister and you sit. And even if you don't say nothing, but like for five, ten minutes, mm. no phone, nothing. You just talk about what's going on in the day or like what happened, blah, blah, blah. And I remember like the first like time Jay was like, what do you mean? What, what, what about <laughs> if I have a meeting or like what about if I have a call? I can eat later i can eat by myself or right. whatever i don't right, care right, if the right. food like get cold right and right. i was like no for me this is so important it's kind of like a core value because mm. if we decide to have a family one day whenever we have a children i want the children to be like it's time to eat and it's time to stay with the parents yeah. and have that so i feel that was for you the hardest thing to kind of like be yeah. like okay so i need to like now it doesn't normally i don't feel but at the beginning i right. feel like it was harder for you to kind of like wrap your head around you know this our next question is and from last last question is from carlotta k yeah carlotta chiede ciao carlotta perché io in realtà la conosco carlotta di persona uh, che figata no i lost the question Figata il meeting mensile, geniale per fare squadra, di cose parlate oltre a impegni e lavoro. Like to me, the main reason why I feel it's important to do this monthly meeting is because in the day of day life we're so busy with my problem. I have my problem with my job, with like my stuff. And he has his own problem with like his business, right? And like we lose sight or of why we're doing all mm. this daily thing day by day because you're so busy that day i'm like so busy on doing this thing i i'm kind of like forgetting why and what is my hand goal what is the reason why i'm doing all of this that i'm doing now why i'm not going out maybe like this weekend because i have to work in the weekend but like mm. why i'm deciding to do that with the monthly meeting i feel like it helped me yeah. but like to me it helped me to be like okay this is the hand goal and the reason why we are taking this decision and why we are working day by day on something because i again we're so busy in the day in the day life our our day is like it's just so filled with things mm. and like I, I would love to be like oh i'm thinking that like oh i'm doing this because of this but but sometimes i forget it yeah and the monthly meeting put me kind of like in place of being like oh this is the reason why this is what we need to achieve in like 30 days 60 days 90 days right mm. and the fact that you kind of like chunk the time in more like kind of like doable project like oh i just need to do this this month like it's right. something that is like is achievable but instead if you just do like an annual meeting like you're kind of like dreaming right mm. but like dreaming and take action is two different things like you yeah. got to take action and the monthly meeting is a great way for us to take action on the thing that we want to work on because they're more tangible and it's just like okay we can do it because it's just this and like the other day we we're just looking at each other we we're like oh my god we just need to do this like mm -hmm. it's not that complicated and and funny enough i feel i can better express myself on this topic in english than in, in italian for teas and like the the kind of like the concept i can explain better in english mm. because i feel in italian i will get lost in like my thoughts and maybe like i will not be able to explain like really good yeah. but in english even maybe my english is not perfect because here like i'm not saying that my english is perfect but i'm just saying like the these topics and all this topic that are like personal development and like yeah. you know i feel like i'm better not in my language because we talk in english and like mm. that's that's what i learned yeah. like all days i've learned in this four years being in canada all of this which i feel like i grow i grow a lot like, like i I was a different person, not in a bad way or in a good way. I just learned so much here mm. and all of this thing and all this knowledge that I got in these years 
you know, it's because I came here and I stayed with Jay and I'm out with Jay, so for sure. Like, Jay's a big part of kind of like the person that I am today. Aww. Aww, <laughs> Frenchie. Let's just zoom in, zoom in. <laughs> that is true. Well, I absolutely love that. And, and one thing I'll add is that there's a concept that I learned a long time ago from one of my mentors, uh, and it, it's the concept of the gap. Okay, mm -hmm. and the gap is really simple because we, we've talked about it from time to time, which is yeah. a lot of times when people set goals, yes. right, or New Year's resolutions, or when you say, hey, where do you see yourself in three years, five years, ten years, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, what they do is they look out, right? So imagine we're at the bottom of a mountain, okay, and your goal, your vision, whatever it is that you want to do, make millions, billions, you know, private jet, whatever, your goal is to reach the top of the mountain, yes. right? And so you set the goal, everyone's excited, right? New Year's resolution everyone's pumped and everyone what do you want to lose weight yeah, everyone, everyone wants want to lose to weight like, they want to 10x their business so then what do go. you do you start walking the little trail that starts going up to the first stage of the mountain right mm -hmm. and there's gonna be snow there's gonna be rain there's gonna be days that an animal is chasing you right like there's just it's just chaotic you mm -hmm. know what I mean? To get to the top of the mountain. Yes. And I think in, during the journey, mm -hmm. what we forget a lot of the times is that let's say we're, we're doing it a month, two months, three months, right? Mm -hmm. And we look up and maybe we're halfway there. I don't know for the mountain, but we see a lot of times we see the top and we go, oh, we're not there. Mm -hmm. We are not a millionaire yes. yet. I'm not the New York bestseller. I don't have my book. I don't have my business. I don't have my thing that I said I was going to do. I'm a failure because I set this as the goal. Yes. I set this as the New Year's resolution. I wrote it down. They told me to write it down, so I wrote it down, yeah. right? And I'm not there. And what we do is we forget to look back and we forget to say, oh my God, a year ago, yeah. I was at the bottom of the mountain. Yes. Four years ago, I was over even here. Even like lower. Right, yeah, yeah. Like I wasn't, I didn't even know this I mountain existed. I was not existed. even in the game. Right? The question, like the monthly meeting, the purpose of it is yes, we want to create more structure, t more tangible goals, actionable, what are we doing? But a big part of it is also looking back to and work. saying, where were we three months ago? Where were we six months ago? What have we learned? Well, how much progress have we made? Yeah, it's kind of right? like you need to acknowledge even like if it's a small step, is a step toward the end game thing. And this will be the last thing because I know that we've been talking forever, but I feel we can talk forever about this topic. And like, yeah. honestly, like, I don't know, maybe we're gonna make a pot, I don't know. There is a lot of ideas, but I really want to know what you guys think. And if you guys want to make this more like a monthly kind of like thing, if you guys would like it, it mm. I don't know. But on correlated to this topic is like, you guys see the exterior thing like when you guys see a person that has made it in this world which is like the social media world mm. you don't know all the steps that take that person to arrive there all the hour working all the reason like there are just few people that maybe can think that they're like there and they haven't done anything they're just there because of whatever right luck but 99.9 .9 percent of the people that you see and you think they're famous and you think they are the life that you want to have is because they work their butt off mm. maybe right now they're not doing as much because they've done it 10 years mm -hmm. and now you're just seeing the result the result is always great the result is shiny the uh going to the maldives like in january and then going there and then doing this like it's great who doesn't want to do that you don't know what is there is behind like one person like because let's say even like if we put ourselves out here and like you are seeing this video right now and you think you're assuming something about us right you're maybe like thinking oh these people are or these people are like doing this right but you don't really know mm -hmm. because you know maybe one percent or two percent of the people that we are and like of what we do because it's not possible to share everything yeah. I don't have like I'm not in a, re a reality TV show where 24 hours there is a camera following me right so there's a new idea <laughs> no. reality TV show no, please Jay and French <laughs> oh my god no please. you wake up with the camera like oh this oh my god how to ruin a relationship yeah. 2.0 so acknowledge every step you do toward your goal toward your dream toward mm. your anything in life it doesn't have to be business it can be like physically it can be like mentally like it can be like oh whatever like your dream like destination or like 
everything in life has a meaning and everything is important not because it's only business it's important like right. there is other aspect in life that are important right right, right. right totally. i work all day not every day and i'm business no right. business right. <laughs> progress over perfection always. we talk about it all the time always choose progress over perfection and keep with moving. this we're gonna stop yeah keep moving <laughs> Uh, we're done for now and uh, I know that like this video probably is gonna be so long mm -hmm. but I swear we may be answered to 10 questions of like the hundreds of questions that we got so if you guys want to make this like a series or like every month or like you know every like maybe two months or something just let us know so we know what you want to see I hope you enjoy this I hope you got some value and uh, I am extremely grateful for you and the time that you decide to spend with us. As again, you maybe now you may you may now know how much we value time. So mm -hmm. we really appreciate you being here. So we're done for now, and we're gonna see you in the next one. Ciao ragazzi! Ciao ragazzi! E eh, ragazzi! Because and ragazzi. There, there is even boys here. Oh, there's there's men. All there right. is men. To my men <laughs> in the house. Ciao ragazzi! Ciao ragazzi! Mwah.